Hey, I'm Ben, and this is my Prius V mobile lab. I'm using it to learn everything I can about mass. Now, we've already looked at solids, so this time, I think we're ready for something a little bit more complicated. Liquids, could somebody mop that up, please? Let's do some experiments to see what type of liquids we can fit into one cubic foot. Liquids will conform to the shape of the container that holds them. Their particles are close together, but they don't have a fixed spatial relationship. This is all a pretty complex way of saying I can cram more liquids into my Prius V than I can solids. Let's try a couple. Here's exactly one cubic foot of apple juice. One cubic foot is about 7.5 gallons. It takes about 13 pounds of apples to make one gallon. That's almost 300 apples for one cubic foot. Well, what does this all mean? My Toyota Prius V can hold 18,000 apples in juice form. But what if I get tired of apple juice? Here's exactly one cubic foot of water. Okay, so I can fit more than 500 gallons of water in my Prius V. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, guys, turn it on. I guess you're gonna have to trust me on that one. That's enough to fill up a hot tub or four kiddie pools or even make a miniature waterfall. Let's look at another liquid. Since we're in a mobile lab, we'll need gasoline to drive this thing around. Now, if we were to fill the Prius V entirely with fuel, we'd have over 500 gallons. Since the Prius V gets about 44 miles per gallon in the city, this means that I'll have enough fuel in the car to travel about 22,000 miles. That's just shy of driving around the earth. So I already know how much of a liquid and how much of a solid I can fit into the Prius V, but I want more and there's one thing left to conquer, gases. And you're like, hasn't the Prius V already conquered that? Because it was a gas joke. I did a, Okay, all right. 